five, four, you fall. You ain't changing shit for me a second stop. Burn out, have heavy stones, pressure stones. I'm turning up, let me make my presence no Burn down, yeah. So many to count, yeah, I feel betrayed. Hey, hey. Hey, what's up, what's happening? It's K, we back in the style. In case you're good, you sleep with a cut up a turn. Another little nigga wanna turn. Drake is here. The sixth god is here, and he finally dropped certified number boy. These are just some raw thoughts. This ain't gonna be a proper review of the album because it might change after a while. And I'm just gonna give you some raw thoughts on the album coming out. And first of all, let's just get this out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, help your boy, I'll help your boy, girl. You know, you know I'm that kid, you know I talk that shit, kid. So good, he should be the cut out Patron. You know the little nigga wanted to. Let's get that out of the way, do my little shit. Throw a nigga subscribe one time. But, anyways, with Drake certified level boy, you know, he was talking about is going to have uh, some reminiscent feels to nothing was the same. And to be honest, I didn't feel that. I feel like this was more of a views and scorpion type of vibe i didn't really get no nothing was the same vibes now again that was a different time and i was a different age at that time so hey that could also play a factor into it as well but at the same time i just wasn't feeling it like i was feeling nothing was the same it more felt to me as a views scorpion type of thing now um with this album i will say this I won't say it is lackluster, I will say because we got to compare these albums at some point and there will be a video of me comparing both these albums. With the features Drake had, they weren't bad at all, it's just compared to Kanye's album, I felt like he just utilized the features more. Imagine if both these albums dropped the same day, niggas would get no sleep, I tell you, thank, thank you, universe, whoever the fuck it was, hey, thank you for dropping that nigga album on Sunday, okay? It was what it was. But yeah, I would say he utilized the features better. And also with Drake, a lot of these we heard the snippets because shit got leaked. And he did put some of them on the album, which I do appreciate. But yeah, it's just like, eh, it's not, some of them sounded better in the leaks. Honestly, by the way, the song with Lil Baby, you should have put that one out and kept wants and needs for your album. The fact you said wants and needs was a throwaway, nigga, I fuck with Lil Baby that. What's it called? Girls like girls song. Get take that the fuck off the album. That shit is trash. Take that shit off the album. That ain't no nigga favorite song. Get that shit off the fucking album, bro. Now let's get it. Now. 7 a.m. on Birdie Path. Was it? Is that is that what it's called? Let me just go check there. Is it 7 a.m. 7 a.m. on Birdie Path. Kanye Healy. That nigga lit your soul up, nigga. You gotta go to heaven and ex God and Jesus. What the fuck you did to this man? This nigga lit your soul up. The nigga took your shit, like, it, it was just sad, Kanye, it was just sad. You was doing your little subliminal This is on fucking Donda as well, but it was just sad. Now, again, he had some standout songs, I like the champagne. First of all, this is the one thing I will give Kanye at this moment. Even though Kanye West did not have no proper album work, this stupid album work with uh, fucking these pregnancy emoji, get the trick, get the fuck out. This album cover is trash. What the fuck was you thinking? Now we kind of get the theme from uh, Pappy's home that, oh, I'm sorry he was saying to his competition, it's his sons, he's sorry that he's been gone. I don't know how y'all was living because you can't sneak this me and do whatever. I don't know how y'all be, how y'all been living, but I'm home now. You know, so it kind of plays to the album like, oh, he got a lot of sons. He's been doing this too long. Oh, he be sunning y'all a lot. That's what I think what the album cover stands for. But this is also my thing, right? Um, yeah, it just makes no sense. And now, mind you, this album is not trash, but I just feel like it's mid. Like, nothing jumped out of me. I feel like Drake has conditioned us for the hit single, The God's Plan, The Nice For All, even though I hate that song. To, to my end of days, I will hate that song forever. But I feel like he has conditioned us for those type of records. And I don't see that here. And, you know what, I'm not really mad, because, again, Champagne Poetry, fuck with, Pappy's Home, fuck with, In the Bible, fuck with it, I didn't really like Dirk's first thing, I like to you. All Over Jay-Z was cool, Fair Traders might be my favorite song on this, Way Too Sex with Future and Thug is fire, TSU is fire, In Too Deep is fire, yeah, the Yaba Heartbreak was cool, you know what I'm saying, No Friends in the Industry was cool, Knife Talk, a little bit boring, but it was cool. I'll fuck with it a little bit. 7 a.m. on Brady Path, fire. 
Um, Fountains with Thames was cool. The Rick Ross and song was cool. I didn't mind Cuddy. Fucking fans is alright. And then The Remorse was, was cool. So I would say I liked the majority of the album. I liked a nice, what, 12 songs? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll, I'll put, I'll, I'm not going to put Yaba in there. Because it, it's a so so. So 8. No Friends is 9. Knife Talk is 10. 7 a.m. 11. Thames, 12. You Only Live Twice, 13. The Cuddy Song. I could take or leave the Cuddy Song. I ain't gonna cut. Fuck. So yeah, 14. 14, maybe 15 songs I liked on this whole project. It's not bad. I liked the majority. It was 21. It felt shorter because Kanye was just ridiculous. Like literally some of these songs were like 5 minutes. It didn't feel that long. Kanye's album just felt like a fucking drag. I'm not gonna lie. But it was. See... This is the thing, besides the lines of Drake saying, oh, he loves his kid, this, this, and that, 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 and this, which is perfectly fine, I understand he's a dad now, but I'm just like, eh, like, I feel like we have heard it all, you know what I'm saying? Not to say Drake cannot rap anymore, not that. It just gets to the point that, yo, it's like, yeah, you talking about stripper, cool, yeah, yeah, cool, like, you know what I'm saying? If you take this amount of a hiatus, I'm expecting you to have lived a life and have some different perspectives and come through with some new shit. I'm just like, man, you just talk about strippers. Man, I don't give a fuck with these hoes. Like, I don't care about these bitches. Nigga, I don't know what the fuck they was doing to you in King of Diamonds, but nigga. Get some new material. But yeah, honestly, it's a good album. I don't know, bro. I feel like, just the features wise, like, they weren't utilized to their potential. And yeah, like, you could have put Laugh Now or Cry Later on this and I would have been like, yo, cool, this is a cool song. I like that better than the Dirk feature we got. I clearly like Wants and Needs better than the Baby feature we got. Like, there's just some features I was just saying, eh, it's, it's whatever. They add to the song, it was what it was, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm not saying Drake phoned it in, but like, clearly, this is not it. I don't know about that little interruption. So what I was saying before is... It's not trash, it just is like, it just sounds like mid. Like how we had a whole lot of red, which was a whole lot of mid. With this certified lover boy, it sounds like a certified lover mid. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And listen to this shit more, but this shit sounds so trash. It's not even trash because of the music, it's just like, we're missing something. He conditioned us to a fucking hit song or whatever like also this shit was supposed to come out in january you made us wait like fucking what is this what's the number of this month nine and you made us wait like fucking what eight to nine months for this fucking shit and this is what we get let alone the album cover is trash kanye doesn't even have an album cover and it still looks better than this like i i just don't know a lot of the features are similar to yay of course of uh, yeah the they did way better, or I feel like some of the features did way better on EA's projects. I'm not going to break down each song because then it'll be a proper review. At this point, it should just be a proper review, but this is just raw thoughts. But I want to give it a couple more listens. I gave EA a couple more listens, but like I wasn't wild. I was just like, it might grow on me because views grow on me. I remember when views first came out, I thought it was trash. I mean, I still think it's not his best work, but it's a high. Scorpion, fuck up. That, that shit's trash. But who knows? That might grow on me in time as well. And yeah, we'll see what the fuck happens with this tape. I don't know. I'm not going to say I was disappointed. Because I like him uh, about the same number of songs that I liked with Kanye's tape. And it was, thank God, it was less longer than Kanye's God. But I don't know. And then plus, like, with that fucking cryptic message, like, this album is, is about toxic masculinity and trying to find oneself whatever the fuck this nigga said i was just like bro this is the same bullshit we've been hearing from you what the fuck is you talking about i don't know i don't know see the thing the difference is with kendrick is this nigga disappears for like four years but he comes back and he talks about some shit and like i was talking about a friend and my friend is always like oh drake is about sales he's not really here to make a good body of work but he has done it in the past especially us waiting on this album 
Yes, we get a couple of lines about this kid. Yes, there was a song dedicated to his beef with Kanye. You can tell me that was for Kanye, by the way. Kanye, I heard some rumors that your team was waiting for to see if Drake disses you. Well, he did. What the fuck is you going to do, nigga? Them little shits he was doing on Off The Grid and OK, OK. Mm -mm. <laughs> nigga, 7 a.m. on Birdo Path? Nigga, ate you for lunch, dinner, breakfast, brunch, nigga, whatever other categories niggas be doing. <laughs> whatever, fucking. Liner, nigga, whatever the fuck else niggas got. But yeah, it is what it is. I just don't know why. Because it's not bad by any means. It is what it is. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just too close to the Kanye thing. Maybe I need to, like, again, I'm going to listen to this more. Probably more songs will grow on me. Also, the thing with me, I'm not here for the slow songs. Like, one thing about me, I like, I appreciate them, but not all the time. And that's the thing about Drake. Especially when you just on the same bullshit I've heard in songs over and over again. I'm just like, bruh, I've been here this. I don't give a fuck now. I've been talking about this bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But hey, we'll see. I just, like, I don't know. He said he was going for nothing was the same vibe, but maybe I remember nothing was the same differently because I fucking loved it when it came out. So I was expecting, oh, I'm a, I'm a rock with this. Maybe my expectations were too high. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I just thought it was going to be nothing was the same part too, and that's not what it is. I should view it as certified lover boy. But I don't know. It just didn't jump out at me. I don't know what it is. Like, it's just here. Fucked with a couple songs. Cool. But they, like... No, I never seen one like yo. This is fucking it. I was like, oh, this song's cool. So I like this song a lot, but it never jumped up. Like nigga, I didn't even have to get through all the way through Kanye's album when I heard Jonah with Fury and Lil Durk. I was like, this is my song. I like this shit. It's very dope. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, this one I was like, it's cool. I I do like Too Sexy. Though. That's my shit. I, I I do like it. <laughs> I ain't gonna care. But I don't know. It's missing something in my opinion. I don't know what it is. It's just missing something. Like, maybe the Drake stimulus package could not give himself his own stimulus package. It is what it is. I don't know. It's just missing something for me. I don't know. It's just, I don't know what it is. But I'll give it a couple more listens. Maybe it'll grow on and I'll see the direction he was trying to go with this album. And like I said, some of them throwaways, my nigga, them wasn't throwaways. You should have put them on this album. Period. No question, nigga. But yeah, that's all I got to say again. I'm going to give a couple more lists and we're going to come back with a proper review. And then we're finally going to compare both of the albums again. But yeah, we'll see what the fuck happens. Kanye, your ass better respond. That nigga lit your ass up. You hear me? But yeah, man, that's all I got to say about this real quick. Hey, like and subscribe. Help your boy. Help your boy grow. Put the comments below. Is you just an OVO standing? You just going to be impartial and just say, you know, your sixth god is the greatest of all time? Or did you feel like me and just be like, you know, I was fucking with, with the album, but like, something fell off it, it, it compared to the other projects you put out there it was something missing in your opinion like what do you feel do you just feel it was mid like just tell me in the comments below check out the links in the description and yeah you know help your boy help your boy grow like subscribe post notifications you know and check out some other videos you know it's ka and i'm doing my thing real quick here man. slime zoom peace y'all elish gang hey happy certified lover boy day well this is gonna come out probably on saturday Happy day after certified love for boarding. L's I.